Friend, today I'm talking about your covenant with God. And I want to say this, that your covenant with God through Jesus Christ is precious and it's worth holding on to. Do everything in your power to save God, that covenant. And I take you once again to the story of Joseph in Genesis. Joseph lived for some 93 years, became prime minister, had a great life in Egypt, and then on his deathbed gave instructions that they will take his bones out of Egypt when the Lord came to deliver them. And I asked, why would Joseph think about that? He instructed his brothers that God will come for you. So don't even think about staying here. You know why? Joseph was thinking about covenant. Joseph was, he made them swear on oath that God will come and deliver them. And when God came through, they had to get out of Egypt. He made reference to the covenant that God gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The covenant was not given to Joseph. It was given to his father, his grandfather, and his great-grandfather, but he knew about it. He studied that covenant, and he knew that a covenant was worth something keeping. We have come into Christ through a covenant, the covenant through the blood of Jesus Christ. It's worth keeping. When that covenant makes a demand, it's worth giving up everything, including Egypt, to go and reach for that covenant. Don't take your covenant with God through Jesus Christ lightly. It's, it, it's eternal. Everything in this world, everything in the world system, everything in this earth realm, we will leave behind except things that are eternal. God bless you. Think about this and share it with your friends and brothers and sisters. I'm Pastor Frederick Numatism from Rima International Bible Church here in Silver Spring, Maryland. Please join me again for, uh, tomorrow for another word for the day.